Hey guys, uh, this is Martin. Uh, this is my little review of the Muli Cycles. I especially imported this right before uh, the pandemic started. You can see me just looking at the bike and uh, showing you that with a stand that kind of sits over the, over the ground a little bit, so it's pretty sturdy. And that's me just kind of opening and closing the basket. So I got this at the beginning of the pandemic. Just as a fluke, I bought it at the beginning of 2020. Uh, had to import it myself to California because there's no dealers with it. Um, and I didn't know how great of a bike it was going to be because I had never ridden it. Uh, but I really love the idea because it's a short wheelbase um, and small little tires. And I got it to carry around our two kids. Um, I thought it would be just kind of going here and there every, every once in a while. But it kind of became a daily driver. So you can see the adjustments, uh, how high the head tube goes up and, and or the, the, the handlebars and kind of how low they can go as well. So my wife can ride it. She's, I don't know, 5'4 or 5'6. I should know that, but I don't. Uh, the kickstand is actually surprisingly easy to maneuver. I know it looks like I'm kind of giving an effort, but I'm trying not to pinch my toes because I use my... Um, sandals in this video uh, I I can do this without having shoes on it's it's that easy um, and it's just been a great little bike uh, sometimes I do lift it up to kind of put the kickstand there um, and I'm just doing this to show you kind of how quick the tires go and, and how quickly the uh, the uh, disc brakes work they're hydraulic disc brakes on it which is just absolutely necessary with any type of cargo bike even if it's tiny like this one i think um and that's just showing you again kind of the maneuverability of the uh the stopping with the kickstand here's the chain guard uh it looks like a belt drive it's not that's an actual chain on an alfini 8 it does come with an Alfini 11, but the one that I had that was in stock and I wanted it was only an Alfini 8, and I lived with it. And it's been okay. I live in the hilly areas of, of the Bay Area, kind of, so I've been able to take this on 15, 20-mile rides with my littlest uh, kid going up hills, down hills. It's been okay. Sometimes you kind of got to stand up. Here's the, uh, the Dynamo Hub. It works amazing. Um, you know, it doesn't really show you how long it sits there, uh, but it's it does stay on uh, while you're at a stoplight if you're concerned about that. So here's the other reason I bought it. The, um, the cargo area collapses, and it becomes like super svelte and tiny. Uh, super cool. And the other really cool thing about this bike is that I don't know any other cargo bike that's like this. Uh, the seats are totally reversible. So the kids can sit frontward facing, or as I'll show you uh, in the next part, uh, the kids can actually face towards you, uh, which is super neat. Uh, I, I literally asked them when I picked them up from daycare or when they take them to school, okay, do you want to face me or do you want to face out? And uh, it lets them kind of decide their own fate. Uh, do they want to see dad uh, and listen to my uh, you know, silly commentary, or do they want to uh, just enjoy the ride? Uh, usually, they actually like looking at me, which is uh, means they're not sick of me yet, but you know, they're not teenagers or anything. So I have a five-year-old uh, and an almost two-year-old. Uh, the two, the almost two-year-old has ridden this since he was eight months old. Uh, in the five-year-old, I don't know, since about four or so. Um, he used to always be on the back and I could, I'm showing you that wrench there. I always have that wrench cause, um, these are not quick release bolts and I always want to have a wrench in the case I need to change my tire. I've never needed to change tire. Um, I, I, well, I've never had a flat. Um, you could probably run these tubeless and this is my one complaint about the darn bike. Um, they, they put a bottle cage there and there's like no way to actually put a real size bottle. So you can have those little tiny bottles, um, but those don't do me very much good on a 20 mile ride, uh, which is kind of frustrating, but you know, there's that big cargo area. So I just let put things in there underneath the kids and let them slosh around. Uh, and that usually works fine. So I had this installed. This is another rear rack. There is a rear rack that's supposed to come with it. It was out of stock, which is fine. I usually put my pannier bag on it, but, um, you know, I didn't have the 
it doesn't work with that low of a setting. So I have a new bag that I'll show you later. And this shows you how easy it is to adjust uh, the seat post. Um, I really like the seat that came with it. It's Ergon Grips and Ergon Seat, another German company just like the, uh, the bike. Um, and it's been super comfortable out of the, out of the box just uh, for me and my wife, um, which is important if you have multiple riders. So this is the bag that I got for it. Um, you know, obviously not a ad or anything, but it fits and it works. It goes on easy. I throw the chain in there or if I have the kids um, uh, lunch bags or something that we're going to school and, and they don't want to jockey for space in there, um, then I put it in there and, and kind of on our, on our way. Uh, it's been pretty tight and you can adjust this. And uh, so far it's, it's been good. Um, so that's kind of my just rundown of this bike. I wanted to do it in the English language because there's just not that much on the internet about this bike. And I think it's really great. Um, don't know how accessible it is to everybody, but highly recommend it. Bye.